We've got a particular treat here for you today. Okay. So this is the manuscript volume, the first volume for Jane Eyre by Charlotte Bronte, written... Oh, my gosh. ...in her own hand. Oh, my goodness. Right, let's see. So, shall we open it up yes, and have please. a look? Yes, please. Oh, my goodness. Charlotte Bronte wrote Jane Eyre in a year and in August 1847 submitted it to the London publishers, Smith, Elder & Co., using the pen name Currer Bell. And, of course, here's the pseudonym that she used. Yes. So when she submitted this to a publisher, she couldn't use her own name. She was acutely aware that publishing as a woman perhaps would be difficult, but also she used a pseudonym because it was a semi-autobiographical book. She was worried that people she knew would identify themselves in the novel, so she saw using the male pseudonym as really killing two birds with one stone, so to speak. This is just magical, and how neat it is. Well, what's incredible about this is actually very few of her original drafts survive. So she obviously wrote this up. It's called a neat or a fair copy. So this is not her first attempt? It's not her first attempt, but you can still see, although it's very neat, there are indeed still crossings out and it was given to typesetters, so people actually would select the letters and put them together into pages from which to print. And you've got the name here of the typesetters. I presume I can't turn the pages, you have to turn the pages, I think do you? you can turn the pages. I, turn, sorry, yeah. I just want to touch it. Yes. Well, there's, and you've turned a page with an inky fingerprint oh, as well, which is, is fantastic, yeah. And it's so beautifully written. Oh, my goodness. 